Hi, my royalties. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, I miss you guys so much. And I bet you guys miss me too. And for those that don't miss me, you still miss me. And I got a few more messages for y'all this week. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to drop them back to back or just drop it once a week, but we'll, we'll see. Anyways, welcome back. Um, if you're a returning subscriber and supporter of my channel, thank you. And I pray that you watch, you continue to watch every one of my videos. I pray that you don't skip through, watch it from beginning to end because I have lessons, messages, breakthroughs, testimonies, and everything is in God's words and God's love. And for those that are new, um, that just watch me don't, but don't want to support me or subscribe, that's fine too because my Lord and Savior is going to grow this channel regardless. So, but thank you. Thank you for watching though. Thank you for watching. And don't skip. Because you might see, you might hear or see something that is for you in this message. Don't skip, watch it through. Anyways, the message that I have for you guys today will be division amongst believers. Um, why is that? So everyone is a Christian or the servant of God until it gets biblical. Because when it when it when the Bible comes into it, people don't want to believe the the words. People don't want to believe the Bible, period. But Hello, everything that's going on has been said in this Bible, but I'm going to go more into depth in, in a different video with that. But in this video, uh, so the, the division amongst believers, um, growing up, I used to hear this saying, and sometimes I still hear it today, the devil you know is better than an angel you don't know. Um, as I've grown now to deep deeper into this, it's false, it's false. Because why would you want to go with the devil you know and not the angel? Because the devil you know, you already know him. You already know his um, his um, foolishness. You already know his lying ways, his deceiving ways. You already know he's filled with destruction. That's what he is. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So why would you follow the devil? I'm going to always follow the angel, even if I don't know the angel. Because you know what? The angel is going to be good regardless. Regardless, the angel is going to be good regardless. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, division amongst us Christian or believers. It sucks. It's bad. Um, when, when another believer don't have a spiritual gift or like a gift, and then you have it, they become jealous and envious. And do you know that so-called believers these days, these days that go to church, every Sunday that go to church, or some people even go to Bible study within the week. Most of them, I'm not saying all of them, because we're not all bad fruits, right? We're not all bad fruits. We're not all. But majority of them be the main ones helping the enemy. They be the main ones behind closed door doing the same spell work on you. They be the main one envious, filled with jealousy, resentment, and hate for you. Sometimes you don't even have to do nothing. Just because you have a spiritual gift that they don't have, they become envious and jealous of you. And some be helping the enemy. They be trying to bring you down and take you out. They be the main ones. Why? If you believe the same God that I believe in, if you have the same clean heart that I have, do you, do you not think God is not going to settle you? You might, have a, you might have a special gift that I don't have. We're all needed. We all play a big role in this life. We're needed. Imagine if we have the same gifts. It's not life is not gonna be good. I mean, it, it will be good, but it's not gonna be, it's not, it's not gonna be interesting. Imagine if we all eat the same food. It's not gonna be interesting. I love food. I, I love trying different, different type of food. I'm not a picky eater. I would try anything just to see if I like it. I'm not picky. Imagine if we were all the same color. Imagine. We wouldn't know different things. We wouldn't know different flavors. We wouldn't know how this person acts if we have, or if we all have the same emotions. So I don't get why people get so jealous. But yeah, people that put on their best outfits every day in Sunday, people that be quick to judge you, be quick to gossip, they be the main one helping the enemy trying to destroy you. They be the main one stopping you from going closer to God. They be the main one lying and conspiring against you why if you're if you have the love and fear of god you will not put energy in so much negativities 
You and I, because you know who you are. You know what you have. There's things that you have that I don't have. There's things that I have that you don't have. That's how it's meant to be. That's how it's meant to be. And the saying, and, and the Lord says, ask and you shall be given. And you shall receive it if you ask. If I have a special gift or a talent or something that I'm doing that you like, that you admire, fast, pray, believe God for it. And if God said it's for you, best believe you're going to get it. Because he said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. These words are in our everyday lives. But yeah. Um, so... Yeah, do you like do you guys realize people who are mainly targeted and hated by the world are people who are used by God? People like me. So much people have so many stories and, and things to say about me. And 90% with my chest, I know they're false. Because I know who I am. Yes, I have made mistakes. Yes, I've hurt people with my words. Yes, I have. But I'm such a good soul. I am. And those that have experienced me in the past or present know I'm a good soul. Some hate it and some admire me. Even those that hate it admire me, but they they won't admit it to me. But I know people, I know their their I know their eyes, I know there are people watching me. I know there's there's eyes on me. Good, good eyes and bad eyes. I know they're all on me. Those that want me to fail and those that admire me and want me to continue, but they none of them can say it to me because they're afraid. They don't want to say it to me, but I know. Um, but yeah, if you experience this, they hate you because they first hated the father. Who doesn't know the father do, does not know love because God is love. So if you don't have the fear and love of God, then definitely you cannot love another human being or yeah. And have you noticed people that speak the truth that comes from God, um, People, people take it as, oh, I'm being condemned. No, we need, to, we need to speak the truth. The Lord said this truth will set you free. You need to speak the truth. And when you begin to speak the truth, the enemy attacks you. Um, the devil and his agents, they love to manipulate things. They love to try to turn God's words. If someone comes to you and gives you a warning and... A warning or or spoke something that you have done wrong and they're trying to correct you and you take it as you being condemned, check your spirit. It's it's check the check your spirit. Because it's the demonic spirit that's around you that is making you feel that way. If you're constantly going out of your way to hurt someone, to if you have a joy in hurting someone, if you're going out of your way to do spell work on someone, if you're going out of your way to monitor someone, if you're going out of your way to send demonic spirits on someone, if you're going out of your way to black people, that means you're demonic. No normal pe person would do that. Normal people, we get a little bit of jealous sometimes, but we don't take it to that extent that you want that person hurt and you want the person to die. You're demonic and you need to seek help. Seriously. Like common sense. I don't get it. Y'all be doing so much. Just because you're doing this spell work on someone, trust me, you think you're delaying them? You're not delaying them. You're all part of their story. You're a part of their story. Because God cannot give you a testimony without tests. Job was tested. The stone the builders rejected has not become the cornerstone. Hi, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Seek the truth. Um, the truth will set you free. And that's going to be the message for today. Um, yeah, don't let... We're so divided and God is sad because um, the agent of the enemy, they're so, when it comes to like being united and destroying and do these spell works and stuff, they are united. Um, but the children of God, we, we hate each other and God is not of hate. He is not, a, he's not the God of division or any, anything negative. He has got a peace, restoration, unity and everything. So when you find yourself in that jealous spirit or envious, pray against it. We all can be jealous. There's normal, there's normal jealousy, but jealous is a point that you continuously want to see that person go down, hurt, destroy, killed even. It's demonic and seek deliverance and help from God. Ask God to um, heal you. 
ask God to deliver you from whatever you're, that you're going through. But yeah, um, that's the message for today. Um, I'll be back with many more because I have I have messages a lot. But like I said, I'm not going to just drop things like that. I need confirmation from my Lord and Savior, okay? <laughs> but yeah, this is the House of Royalty. And everyone that comes here are, are royalty. You are a queen and you're a king. And I am a royalty. My name is Princess, but I'm going to be a queen. I am a queen already. Anyways, <laughs> in my father's house, I'm a queen, okay? But yeah, you guys have a great day. Um, if you're not already, already subscribed, subscribe if you want to. And if not, come back. I still have messages for you. Come back. You don't have to, sub you don't have to subscribe, but I know that you will listen to my messages. I am protected, I am guided, I am anointed, I am blessed, and I am healing by the power and blood of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be, continuously. Have a great day. Bye.